welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Katie. I am 35 weeks pregnant. I am very swollen, very ready for baby girl to get here. Obviously, I have a lot of things to do because we are going to be doing a lot of nesting activities in this video. I have done little bits here and there that I haven't shown here on YouTube, but I am so excited to do some baby laundry today. We're going to put together a few things that have come in the mail. I want to show you guys our stroller because we got that. I don't know if I've even updated you guys here on YouTube of the crib being put up and just like little nursery updates. So excited to get into today's video. I have been waiting for this for so long. If you guys are also nearing the end of pregnancy or you have before you know this last month is such a struggle i've been in a lot of pain like i mentioned earlier i have been swelling up like my fingers are so swollen my feet are swollen my sandals don't fit because we are so close to meeting baby girl i want to show you guys the stroller that we got this is the chico corso le stroller it's a little bit more expensive than the bravo one which i feel like most people have i personally think that this stroller is 100 percent gonna be worth it. it looks so nice a cup holder right here two cup holders also down at the bottom and i feel like it's just it's pretty lightweight for its size and it swivels and moves like pretty easily and then it also comes with this piece so that you can pop this seat out and you can put the car seat in it which is super handy also we have the chico car seat easily fold it up it's supposed to be one handed so i'll show you guys you can just do it with one hand and it folds all together and then you can also stand it upright and it's not going to fall over as you can see we have a lot of cleaning up to do in this room i've kind of just been piling stuff in here because i've been busy this cracks me up andrew bought a baby carrier from one of his co-workers we can have like this tactical baby carrier i just thought that was so funny last time i think i talked to you guys this dresser was on this other wall which Ideally, I wish it could have stayed that way, but we put the crib right here because this wall has stairs that go up to the person above us, their apartment, and the door sometimes slams. Even if you're quiet, you can still hear people going up and down these stairs. I was just a little bit scared that I was going to end up waking her up. thought it was better to put the crib on the side. These are those picture ledges that I bought at Ikea last vlog that I shared with you guys, and they turned out so cute. I had so much fun decorating them and putting them together. I also got Got this plant at Ikea and they just work out perfectly. So a whole bunch of stuff that we need to take care of on here. I need to wash all of this stuff. I got this cute little Amazon bag to hold toiletries for my hospital bag and probably also go in the diaper bag. And then I have a bunch of old navy clothes that I just got. When I first opened the package, these are the first things that I saw in there. It's just so cute. I am obsessed with these little baby Birkenstocks. I love them so much. This adorable little denim overall set. Well, actually this isn't a set. I bought this onesie separately and then just figured it would look really cute underneath. These overalls, they're like a little bubble overall. They have it with this flower print and then plain. This one came as a matching set. Little baby biker shorts with the oversized sweatshirt. It says Old Navy on it. I got her some more PJs with these cute little strawberries. I'm obsessed with like all of the baby strawberry prints. And then this adorable little romper. This will fit her like midsummer when it's super, super hot. Of course, it has snaps at the bottom to make diaper changes easier. I carry these in like all kinds of different colors. I just love that this is like one and done. It makes the outfit so easy. And then last thing I got was this little set. It's a ribbed pair of shorts with a lettuce hem at the bottom. And then a little matching tank top. This is so cute. I'll link everything that I mentioned in this video down below in the description so you guys can check it out. I got all of this stuff for 40% off. Definitely wait until they go on sale if they aren't. Now we need to work on organizing this room, getting it back together because I used to have it looking so cute and then things just went crazy. So we're going to start off with some baby laundry because I just want to get that going and washing. I have all of her clothes here already in the drawer. So I'm going to separate it. I think probably just like light from darker colors just to make it easy. The detergent that I use for her clothes is Molly Suds. I got it off of Amazon. It's super clean 
non-toxic detergent and it's a detergent powder so i've heard really good things about them it's not specifically a baby detergent but i think it's a lot better than brands like dreft and stuff like that i've heard that those actually do have quite a bit of like chemicals and just stuff that you don't want on your fresh baby skin also link the detergent down below but let's get all of this out organize it all put some things away build some things i think i'm gonna light a candle pour a little drink I still have laundry going. I think it actually just finished drying. Still have like another load that I have to put in, but it's almost done. Probably not going to get to like the folding and the organizing part because I still have to figure out like how I want to put all of her clothes in the drawers and stuff like that. So that's probably going to have to save it for another day because... I started doing a huge clean out in here and just made a huge mess and now my back and hips are starting to hurt. So there's that. Definitely, like everybody always says, start nesting early because you lose energy. It's really hard to be as productive as you normally would be because everything just hurts. So I sat down on the floor and now I'm kind of like stuck here, but I'm really hungry. So went from like literally only wanting to do baby laundry and set up a couple things to this whole explosion happening out here. But I just decided like, I need to get all of this stuff out of the closet. Otherwise it's literally never gonna get done. Hello you guys. It has been a little bit since I last updated you all on this vlog, but good news is I am officially on maternity leave. I did some last minute work this morning. I am officially done with work, waiting for baby girl to get here. And it is the most crazy feeling because I'm just like always working, always thinking about work and now I can just focus on baby girl and it's gonna be so much fun. I am slowly checking things off of my to-do list and today we're packing my hospital bag and setting up the bassinet, which are probably, besides installing the car seat, which Andrew's gonna do this weekend, the last two super, super important things that I have to get done before she gets here. And it feels so good to be almost there. I made my packing list on the iPad, just like when I go on vacation, I love to make lists so I can check it off. And there's also like a few things on this list that I'm gonna have to throw in the bag, like when I go into labor, because like things like my ID, blankets and stuff, I use those every day. So this will be nice to have where like Andrew can look at it and be like, okay, I need to grab this for her real quick if I am not in the mood to grab it. I have everything kind of piled over here. We're gonna put it in this duffel bag and it should all fit. I tried really hard not to overpack. I know being a first time mom, that is so easy to do and I already overpack as it is, but I have these packing cubes that I ordered off of Amazon and we're gonna put everything in there. So I think this is like a little shoe bag. So. To start off, I'm gonna put these slides in this shoe bag as my shower shoes. And then slippers are gonna be the first things to go in my bag. And then I have a couple of nursing bras. I just decided to go with these super comfy ones that I got for sleeping in. This was a big pack from Amazon of these crossover nursing bras and they're super comfortable. I also have the Target ones. And at first I didn't like these, but I think I like them more now. They're way softer and they just like have a little bit more coverage. I ordered a size large in both the Target and the Amazon and these just run a little bit bigger and just a little bit more comfy, which is what we want because these are for sleep. So I'm bringing two of these. And then I also picked up a brand new pair of pajamas from Target. This is just a little button down short sleeve and shorts set. I'm always like way too hot and I just feel like after giving 
giving birth, I'm going to be really warm. So having shorts and a short sleeve. And if I get cold, I'm going to bring a blanket too. So, and then in the same exact color, same brand from Target, I got a robe. Thought that would be another good cozy option. And then my going home outfit, I'm still trying to put together. I actually ordered a pair of black sweatpants from Target today and they should be coming to the house here soon, but I still need to try them on and stuff like that. And then I'm just going to probably like pack a sweatshirt with it. I might want to do this one because this one's like my favorite sweatshirt right now. We'll have to do the going home outfit later. In this little bag that came with my packing cubes, I have just like all of the nursing supplies. So I have some nursing pads, this nipple butter, the Earth Mama nipple butter, the silverettes that I ordered off of Amazon. I've heard that these are a lifesaver. So I'm very excited to have those and just have all of my nursing needs in one bag. A lot of people have suggested to bring a stroller fan and hook it to the side of the bed. So I got one of these off of Amazon. And then I also have my long charging cord for my phone or the iPad. I think I'm also going to bring the iPad so I can watch like shows and movies on while I'm in labor to hopefully distract me. Okay, then we're bringing a nursing pillow. I decided to choose this over regular pillows. My sister said that she didn't really care like what pillow she had at the hospital she cared more about having a blanket so I decided to take this with me and the blanket just to try to like prevent having a ton of different things with us all of my toiletries I put in this cute bag that I got from Amazon this is like a little corduroy makeup bag and I tried to also go light with all of this so I have deodorant I have my toothbrush toothpaste I think I need to get like a better toothpaste thing. I'm running out. I have my razor, some body wash, and then just like a little face cream. Micellar water, I love just like washing my face with some of that with cotton pads. So I put a few of those in here, some hair ties, and then I also have dry shampoo and some lotion. So that was all I went with. I don't think I'll be washing my hair when I'm there. I'm hoping to just do like a body shower and also throwing in this lip balm. I'm also going to be bringing a bunch of snacks. Andrew and I actually went to Costco and we loaded up on easy to grab snacks for mostly postpartum, but I thought I'd bring a few of these for the hospital as well because you never know when you're gonna give birth restaurants could be closed and then like the food at the hospital is never really that great I've heard so it'll just be nice to have some good snacks on hand so I have these little that's it fruit bars some trail mix and then I have these beef sticks and some pirate's booty I think I'm also gonna grab like even more fun snacks at Walmart, like maybe some candy or something. And then I'm gonna grab a nightlight, I think, because my sister said it's really nice to have the, the lights off in the room and have it be nice and dim at night. I am gonna, of course, bring this iPad and a tripod so that we can set up the camera and hopefully get some stuff on film. Okay, and then as far as baby girl goes, I have her announcement sign already in the bag. It's just like a cute little wooden sign that I ordered off of Etsy for her first picture. Of course, her going home outfit. This is the cutest little gown from Caden Lane. I thought this was a good option for going home because it's a super stretchy bamboo material and with a gown, they can be whatever size and most likely fit in it. So I just thought this was adorable. I am so excited to see her in it. It also comes with this little hat. I'm thinking about also bringing a bow with it too. Just in case, I know that you can still put them in the car seat if you untie the gown and then I would probably throw a blanket over her. But just in case that's kind of like a hassle or it doesn't work out, I wanted to bring just the basic onesie. This one is so cute too. It's just from Target. Love the little ruffle down the front. So we're going to bring that as well. I also wanted to bring a swaddle. This is the halo swaddle to start introducing that to her and it just makes swaddling so much easier. Bring a portable sound machine and a cozy blanket for her. And I think that is it for baby girl. So I have her diaper bag right here. This is the freshly picked diaper bag. I actually got it off of Marketplace for like less than half of the price of what it sold for. And it's like basically brand new. Definitely with baby stuff, my number one recommendation is to look on Marketplace for everything because you can get so many basically brand new baby things that are like way discounted. Okay, a hospital bag is packed. 
feels so good to get that done. That has been on my mind for the longest time. And we're going to take a little bit of a break, head out to Sonic, grab a diet cherry limeade. Those are so good. And then I'm going to head to Walmart to grab a few little things that I still need for my hospital bag, just so I can completely check that off my list. back from Walmart I'm always reminded why I don't like going to Walmart like I love some of the stuff that they have there and shockingly their home decor has been so good but it is always just I don't know it's not the best time newest pregnancy craving ding dongs I'm so excited for these I'm gonna try to wait till after dinner but so excited I got some Easter stuff because my niece is actually gonna be here visiting the baby with my sister and she's seven. So we're gonna decorate eggs and all of that. And I thought I would get all of this before they get here and before it gets sold out. I didn't find everything that I needed, but I did get some mascara. I needed some of these batteries for our key fobs for the car. And then I got a mini hairbrush to go in my hospital bag. And I also saw this comb and was like, why the heck not? I'll just throw it in there. I've heard that if you squeeze a comb while you're having contractions, that it kind of like helps distract you from the pain. I don't know if it actually works. I've heard that it kind of works up to a certain point and then you're just like, all right, this is getting to be way too much. One more thing on the hospital bag. I am going to put together all of my basic makeup, I think in one of those packing cubes or something, just because I feel like I'm gonna want that to kind of freshen up after labor and not necessarily put it on while I'm in labor. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that, but just to kind of have something to wake me up a little bit. I'm not going to do like full glam, just throw a few little makeup products in. Current update on the nursery because Andrew and I did some stuff. So Andrew hung up these little shelves, if you guys remember from my shop with me video. I went to Ikea and I bought these spice racks. They're $6 each and they are so cute for her little books. Obviously she needs some more little books on these shelves, but it's so cute right when you walk in if you open her drawers they are now all organized i have everything folded perfectly i don't know how long it's gonna stay like this and i don't know if this particular method of how i have it is exactly how i'm going to keep it but i have all of her kind of like little bibs in here these are all hats these are all newborn size sleeper type onesies and then these are newborn onesies and pants all of her zero to three month sleepers some of these are so adorable like can we talk about this one for easter i I am dying zero to three month shorts and pants and then down here I have her zero to three onesies and then this is in three to six so I just mostly did that one by the size because I'm running out of room so I can't really organize them by like pant and stuff like that and then this last drawer is just like a bunch of receiving blankets towels these are bassinet sheets blankets all of that good stuff down here still really working on like organizing everything exactly how i want it it's really hard to know like until she's here but i have a whole bunch of bows in this basket for now but i actually ordered a bow hanger off of amazon so that those can all get hung up and we can see them all This is reality. I messed up because pregnancy brain, I really should not be building things. I am waiting for Andrew to get home so he can help me fix this because I cannot get it undone. This is actually supposed to go through this pole and I did not look at the instructions well enough and I have to fix it. I am going to go enjoy some dinner and wind down for the night. It has felt like such a long day, even though I haven't really done that much. It is crazy how much energy growing a human will take out of you. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. We are so close to meeting baby girl. Like she could literally come at any minute. I will keep you guys updated on all of the pregnancy things. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you all next time. Appalachian sunrise. Meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed I can feel it coming